असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू साइंस क्लास टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर सिक्सटीन ऑफ योर साइंस बुक लाइट स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी लर्न अबाउट लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो लेट्स रिकॉल दीज लॉज वॉट आर द टू लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन येस द फर्स्ट लॉ स्टेट्स दैट द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन and the second law states that the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and reflected ray all lie in the same plane in this video we will know about two types of reflection these are regular reflection and diffused reflection or irregular reflection so let's begin with regular reflection students when you stand in front of a mirror you see your face right this is because the entire light that falls on the surface is reflected in a definite direction such reflection is called regular reflection in regular reflection a parallel beam of incident light is reflected as a parallel beam in one direction regular reflection of light occurs from smooth surfaces like that of a plane mirror or highly polished metal surfaces now see when a parallel beam of light falls on the smooth surface of a plane mirror it is reflected as a parallel beam in one direction images are formed due to regular reflection of light a highly polished metal surface and a still water surface also produce regular reflection of light and form images a polished wooden table and a marble floor with water spread over it are very smooth and hence produce regular reflection of light understood good students when you hold a cardboard in front of you you will not be able to see your face in it right this is because the entire light that falls on the surface is reflected in all directions in a scattered manner this kind of reflection is called diffused reflection in diffused reflection a parallel beam of incident light is reflected in different directions the parallel incident rays do not remain parallel after reflection they are scattered in different direction you can see here the incident rays after striking the surface of this cardboard it is reflecting in different directions and after reflection reflected rays are not parallel to each other right the diffuse reflection of light takes place from rough surfaces like that of a paper cardboard chalk table chair walls etc when a parallel beam of light rays fall on the rough surface of a sheet of paper the light is scattered by making reflected rays in different directions thus a sheet of paper produces diffuse reflection of light and no image is formed in diffuse reflection of light the light rays falling on the rough surface of paper are scattered in all directions and hence no image is formed right students most of the objects around us cause diffuse reflection of light and scatter the light falling on them in all directions in fact we can see these objects only because they scatter light rays falling on them in all directions for example a book lying on a table can be seen from all parts of the room due to diffuse reflection of light from its surface the surface of book being rough scatters the incident light in all parts of a room hence the book can be seen from all parts of the room understood good